am Zach Weissmuller for Reason TV. We're in Tampa, Florida, reporting from day one of the 2012 Republican National Convention. The chairman's about to call the convention into order and then unveil a debt clock that will be posted the entire time. We're going to ask participants whether the national debt is an important issue and whether Mitt Romney is the person to tackle that issue. For this convention, we also want to draw your attention to the unprecedented fiscal recklessness of the Obama administration as depicted by the real-time national debt clock shown here in the arena. There's a national debt clock clicking away up there. Um, is the national debt an important issue to you? I think it definitely is, and really to all young Americans. I hope to, to be an ambassador, really, for all Americans. What kind of programs would you like to see cut in order to uh, get that started? That's a typical liberal question. You cut them all. What are some of the ones that come to the top of your head, for instance? I mean, just you look at every regulation that's been passed uh, in the last four or five years. You know, you've got so much waste. I mean, you look at that cylindra, high-speed rail. Some of our social welfare programs. The big three drivers of debt are Medicare, Social Security, and Defense. Should those also be on the chopping block? What do you say chopping block? We have to reform those so we don't go in debt. But obviously, we want those programs around when you get to be of age. Medicare, Social Security, and defense spending, do those need to be on the table also? Well, the thing is, Obama has cut uh, Medicare by quite a bit. In the past, uh, Republicans haven't exactly been that much better. I mean, Bush racked up over $4 trillion in debt during his term. Uh, do you think Romney and Ryan are going to be different? Yeah, I think a lot of people are excited because he has the, he put Ryan on the ticket with the Ryan plan. Even the Ryan plan, which is not the same as the Romney plan, doesn't actually balance the budget for about 30 years. Is that good enough? Well, it's a start. It's better. I mean, we, we have a president who for four years hasn't even done a budget. Defense, that's increased 70 percent since George W. Bush took office. Should we uh, roll it back to before that time? I don't think 70 percent is a correct number. Uh, but if we don't have a strong military, uh, we're not going to be able to uh, ensure peace in the world. After 9-11, Everybody remembers 9-11, but nobody talks about it. The costs of defense to keep the United States and its people secure within its borders went up drastically. We understand that. And as somebody that has worn the uniform, I applaud that sort of movement by our government. Overseas uh, military bases or our presence in Afghanistan, does any of that need to be rethought by the Republican Party? Well, you know, I think for... No, I don't think we should just pull out of Afghanistan. I would take a lot of the troops that are in a lot of these countries like Japan and Germany and mm -hmm. I'd bring them back to this country, but that's my personal opinion. Right, that's not something Mitt Romney's been advocating. I, I'm not sure of his position on that. Yeah.